Hey everybody, so Rebecca in the bathroom again. So this is my hair. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but when I cut it initially, and um, this is a sports bra by the way, I'm not like indecent, but um, when I cut it initially, like my hair was initially like maybe to like here, and then I cut it to like here, and every few weeks I've been slowly cutting it shorter and shorter. I kind of want my hair to look like uh, Chriselle Lim, uh, you know her channel, Chriselle Lim. And um, she's, if you don't recognize her, it's Michelle Fawn's fashionable friend. <laughs> That's a horrible way of putting it. She's a stylist and she's awesome. But I really want my hair to be similar to hers. I think it's like her hair is like up to like here. I really love her hair. So I've been slowly trimming my hair. I actually haven't been going to a salon. I've been doing it myself because that would just be super expensive. And honestly, I'm never really wowed by how salons do my hair. It's always like, you know, it looks great the first day. But with my natural hair texture, it just doesn't work. So I've just been cutting my hair myself. And I cut it dry because then you can actually like see what it'll look like when it's dry. And I just think that makes sense. So I have hair shears. I'm going to cut it a little bit. I um, only cut a little bit at a time since I'm not really a professional cutter. And I don't even separate it into layers. I'm kind of just like, hmm, this should be a little shorter. <laughs> I don't think of it very professionally. So if I mess up, it won't be that big of a deal because I only do it a little bit at a time. That's why I've been doing it over a span of a couple of weeks. So I'll be right back. And by the way, I don't show this on camera and I won't do a tutorial on it or anything because I don't want to be responsible for screwing up someone else's hair because obviously this is a huge risk. I mean, it's your hair. It's going to take a long time to grow back if you screw it up. So that's why, again, I'm taking baby steps. But anyway, so I will see you in a couple minutes. So that is all the hair I cut. I put it in... You know, the trash can while I was doing I got some here, though, because it's really not good to get in your sink. But, I put on the light by accident. See, it's barely any different. Because I'm doing it slowly and in small, like, increments. Um, you know, I'm cutting off some dead hair, but I'm also doing it really subtle, because if I just suddenly cut my hair to, like, here, I would probably freak out. And, you know, I could be more easily prone to be mess messing it up. So, I, um, I've just been doing it slowly. So that's what it looks like. You try and see if I can get it from the back. Okay. See, it's not totally even. That's a shadow there. But it works out. Because I think it looks more natural. I don't know. Like, I, the way I cut my hair is kind of like at an angle. So that, um... Like, I cut my hair diagonally rather than straight across, bluntly, bluntly, because I feel like it makes my hair look a little more natural, kind of like it's been lived in, not like it was just recently cut. But I don't know, that's just me. That's how I like my hair. And, I don't know, we'll see in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, really, how this experiment works out and how my hair looks really short. Well, not really short, but, like, up to, like, here. But I just think her hair looks great. Anyway, so, bye! <laughs>